Today, we are going to be going over five different tips that can help you guys rank up a ton in ranked. Let's get it started. Tip number one is draft properly and learn how to draft. Outside of just how good you are at the game, draft is the number one determining factor if you're going to win or if you are going to lose your game. It's really important to be a good teammate and understand what your team needs are when you're drafting. So for example, if your first pick is a thrower, then you have the thrower down, maybe go something that has more range, something that can counter tanks, because that is something your teammate as a thrower doesn't have. Try and pick meta brawlers. Don't just pick Edgar or Fang or Colt because it's fun. If you're trying to really rank up, go the good brawlers like Leon or Charlie. Look at tier lists that people make, such as Kairos and Spen, so you guys can get a really good understanding of what's good and what's not. If you think your teammate is trolling because he takes something like Colt or Mortis, then you're going to have to change up your draft style a little bit. Take a carry brawler, maybe a Jean or a Tara, a Fang, something that you can 3v1 if you think your teammate is going to be useless, because you always have to draft dependent on what your teammates have, so always keep that in mind. Tip number two is know the modifier you're playing and know the meta in it. There's classic quick fire big friend and time detonation and you have to know the meta in all four different mods in order to play and rank up the best you can quick fire gives you more ammo for every shot you hit it got nerfed a little bit but these brawlers are still really good jean leon gale meg lola crow rico colt pearl all these brawlers that fire multiple bullets probably even pam are really really good in quick fire because you're gonna get those bullets back and you can just keep spraying if you can first pick or second pick one of these brawlers i would highly recommend doing so if it's heist or something like that then you want to take a bull or a daryl something that can do a lot of damage colt even which has a lot of bullets but you have to know the modifier and what you're drafting big friend gives you the hp of the highest hp teammate on your team so in this mode the two by far best brawlers are colette and frank Frank has the most HP in the game, and Colette with a lot of HP just runs through everything. It is unbelievable. Other brawlers you can use for HP are Pam, Meg, and Apit. Those are really good. And then if you want to play a tank, you can go something like BB as well. The non-high HP brawlers that are good are damage-dealing brawlers like Spike, Colette, B, Leon, Crow, Colt even. Brawlers like that, Stu even, that just would be insane with high HP. Well, now they have it, so you have to abuse those brawlers in Big Friend. And last but not least, there is also Time Detonation, which completely opens the map in about 30 or so seconds, maybe 45. But the map opens way too quickly, so to be honest, the map doesn't even matter for this. It's just going to be open every single time. Because of this, brawlers like Nani, Piper, Meg, Pearl, RT, Jean, and a lot of other open range brawlers are insane if the other team has first pick there's obviously super broken brawlers so in big friend don't let them get frank or colette in quick fire don't let them get gene or leon in time detonation don't let them get nani or piper because in an open map they will absolutely destroy you with those brawlers tip number three try to find a teammate to play with and more importantly to draft with like i said with tip one and two draft is the most important thing out of your individual skill and will dramatically affect where your rank is you can only do so much alone but if you have a teammate or two to help you out with that draft it should be so easy for you guys as long as you guys follow my draft tips and do what i say especially with the mods it's going to be so easy for you guys to push if you like to play throwers then you play the throwers have your teammate play the tanks if he likes to play tanks and you like to play you know otis or gene or something like that let him play the tanks and you can play the otis or gene work together offset each other and you guys can work very very well and gain very very fast i know a lot of you guys play alone or don't have the most teammates or most friends online all the time to help you if you play good with someone send them a friend request they might add you and you can start playing with them and that is a super easy way to make some friends in this game if you win a game and you do well shoot your shot and maybe you make a new friend and you grind super hard with them tip number four if you are playing with randoms and you don't have any friends to play with make sure you take a carry brawler if you're playing heist, make sure you take a brawler that can do safe damage. You cannot trust your randoms with shooting the safe. You cannot trust your randoms in bounty with keeping the stars. You cannot trust your randoms in gem with holding the gems. You need to play the carry brawlers. Yeah, having a good KD is always good. It's always nice seeing that you got 8 kills and 2 deaths. But I'd rather win going 3 kills, 3 deaths 
than lose getting eight kills and two deaths. The KD doesn't matter. Play the objective of the mode, especially with the modifiers. Play with the modifier and play the objective. If you combine these two things, especially at lower ranks, it should be super easy to progress even with randoms. And tip number five, and what I think is the most important tip is once you reach a new badge. So once you go from bronze to silver, silver to gold, gold to diamond, you cannot go back down from diamond to gold, gold or to silver or silver to bronze. Once you get that new badge, you are stuck there. So if you are very, very close to mythic or diamond or legendary, do not play risky. Maybe wait till you get a teammate, play some safe brawlers. Don't do anything that's crazy because you might tilt and you do not want to tilt when you're so close to the next rank. Right now, I'm only 200 elo off of legendary. So I'm not going to play solo at all. I'm just going to wait till I can play with my teammates or just good players in general. When I play with those guys, I'm going to gain. I'm going to hit legendary. And once I hit legendary, I can't tilt back down to mythic. So then I can play solo. I can play fun brawlers. I can play a little bit more risky. Keep that in mind when you guys are pushing so you guys don't tilt super hard when you're so close to your next rank. Those are going to be my five tips for helping you guys improve in ranked. If you guys like this type of video, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know. And I will give you guys another one, maybe a more advanced version.